It was good, dog. So today we're going to be taking the political compass quiz. My podcast sidekick came in clutch this week and recommended me to take this quiz to see where I fall on the political compass. Now, you've probably seen the political compass before. This compass is used for various memes and to, most importantly, determine where someone falls on the political spectrum. Now, I'm still recovering from my illness that I had for the past week, and so I'm going to try my best to speak normally, and, uh, yeah. So let's just jump right into it, shall we? Just a few propositions to start with concerning, no less, how you see the country and the world. If economic globalization is inevitable, it should primarily serve humanity rather than the interests of transnational corporation. Economic globalization refers to the widespread international movements of goods, capital, services, technology, and information. So overall, how much do I want to lean towards companies bound to capitalism rather than the benefit of humanity in general? I'm just gonna say agree. I'd always support my country whether it was right or wrong. Disagree because I would only serve my country if I think what we're doing was right. No one chooses their country of birth, so it's foolish to be proud of it. I disagree. Our race has many superior qualities compared with other races. I'm assuming it's referring to white people, because I feel like only white people would take this quiz anyway. Now let's think about this realistically. There are some races that uh, have qualities like being more immune to being sunburnt, or having stronger genetics to where they gain muscle a lot quicker and, you know, they have more testosterone or something, I don't know. Like, there's a reason why some races are really good at Olympic stuff, while others, they kind of fall behind statistically. And so dealing with the facts, this of course, this, this question here, this is true, okay? This isn't a question that suggests that the, the Aryan white race is better than everyone else. It's just saying that there are some things that the Aryan white race has that other races don't. I don't really think that white people are the superior race and it's, the, it's generally the best because black people, I really admire their athleticism, okay? I really want to have big, strong black muscles. But I can't because I'm bloody white, and there's nothing I can do to change that. But there are still some uh, genetic benefits to being white. But, you know, I think you get it, so let's move on. The enemy of my enemy is my friend. I mean, in an act of desperation, I of course would want to side with uh, another country that, you know, has the same goals as mine, and we both hate this one country that's kind of stopping us from achieving our goals. But that's an act of desperation, okay? Military action that defies international law is sometimes justified. If our country is being threatened and our democracy and the, the whatevers, our freedoms, then yes, it would sometimes be justified at least. There is now a worrying fusion of information and entertainment. Strongly agree. So this one is about the economy. People are ultimately divided more by class than by nationality. Strongly agree, but the liberals are kind of destroying that and now we're being divided by nationality once again. But the current bare-bones society on default, without all of the stigmas, it's based on class. Okay, the richer you are, uh, the more f financial benefits you have rather than the poor people. But as a DLC package, if you are a certain nationality, then you're going to be, like, discriminated against by, you know, stigmatizing roles or whatever the frick. Pretty much, if you're white, then all of the liberals hate you. That's what I'm trying to say. Controlling inflation is more important than controlling unemployment. I mean, we've had inflation for decades and maybe even centuries at this point, and so I think everyone's number one concern is whether or not they have a job in the first place, and so I'm just gonna say disagree. As long as we're working, inflation should only be a problem if we make it a problem. Like, things get so expensive that people aren't getting enough minimum wage to even get by like everyone else. And so, until inflation gets so bad that we have to do something, unemployment is the biggest issue out of the two. Because corporations cannot be trusted to voluntarily protect the environment, they require regulation. Well, what kind of regulation? It shouldn't really be their responsibility to quote-unquote protect the environment, but that also means a lot of different things. I'm gonna say disagree. From each according to his ability to each according to his need is a fundamentally good idea. The principle refers to free access to and distribution of goods, capital, and services. Okay, so it's pretty much communism, right? I'm gonna say strongly disagree if that's what that's referring to, but I'm still not 100%. The freer the market, the freer the people. 
disagree uh again i'm not i'm not 100 percent on what it means but you know if everything was free then that means the people are more free they have more freedom or something i mean kind of but just because everything in the store is free doesn't mean it's gonna have a good outcome like people don't need to work and so they're gonna like uh go back to their primal instincts or whatever it's a sad reflection on our society that something as basic as drinking water is now a bottled, branded consumer product. Yeah, it's sad, but it is what it is. We could drink bottled water, but, you know, we could also drink from the river, and it's not a guarantee that the river is going to be always fresh. And not everyone lives next to a river. Like, there's some parts of the country that are a desert, and so they need the bottled water. Like, this question might be anti-capitalist, and so me agreeing is just saying that I don't like capitalism. So I'm gonna- I'm gonna switch to disagree. Cause yeah, it is what it is. Land shouldn't be a commodity to be brought and sold. Strongly disagree. We need lands, we need to separate lands, and we need to- we need to purchase them out and stuff, you feel me? Capitalism. It is regrettable that many personal fortunes are made by people who simply manipulate money and contribute nothing to their society. I mean, they're creating business, and so that's their contribution to society, is it not? Protectionism is sometimes necessary in trade. The theory or practice of shielding a country's domestic industries from foreign competition by taxing imports. I mean, I guess. The only social responsibility of a company should be to deliver a profit to its shareholders. I have no idea what that means. The rich are too highly taxed. Are they being taxed extra? I mean, I'm not rich, and so if they go through with taxing the rich extra, then it wouldn't exactly affect me. Because I'm also not poor, and so I wouldn't be getting any of that money. I'll say strongly disagree, because I think taxing the rich is just... It's, it's anti-American. Because, like, what's the point in working extra when you're just gonna have all that money taken away anyway like the american dream is to work as much as you want and then you get more money out of it and stuff not just the same as everyone else those with the ability to pay should have access to higher standards of medical care strongly agree i guess <clears throat> government should penalize bi businesses that mislead the public strongly agree a genuine free market requires restrictions on the ability of predator multinationals uh, to create monopolies. I have no idea. Eeny, meeny, miny, mo, kez, dez, bez, so if you want. He said, go. Disagree. Okay, whatever. Social values. Bruh, orshin, when the woman's life is not threatened, should, uh, always be illegal. Uh-huh. It amazes me that this is, like, one of my most controversial takes on my channel. It used to be normal to think this, but now you're, like, a fascist, if you believe it, you know? All authority should be questioned. Sure, yeah. An eye for an eye and a tooth for a tooth. Capitalism and punishment. Taxpayers should not be ex uh, expected to prop up any fee trays or museums that cannot survive on a commercial basis. I have no idea. Any, any, many more. Agree. Whatever. I don't know. Uh, schools should not make classroom attendance compulsory. Required by law or rule obligatory. Well, we're required to go to school anyway. And so, you know, if you're going to be ditching school or you're late a bunch, then there probably should be a punishment. So, disagree. All people have their rights, but it, it is better for all of us that different sorts of people should keep to their own kind. Like we should be segregated again? I think mingling and being with di people that are different from us is good. Okay. It's called being open-minded and patient with other people's views. You know, you feel me? Good parents sometimes have to spank their children. Strongly agree. Yeah, it also used to be normal to uh, discipline your kids, but now you're like abusive if you do that. It's natural for children to keep some secrets from their parents. Yeah. Possessing marijuana for personal use should not be a criminal offense. Uh, personal use refers to the act of abusing drugs or whatever, and not using it for medical stuff. Then I think it should be illegal or something. The prime function of schooling should be to equip the future generation to find jobs. Strongly agree. People with serious inheritable disabilities should not be allowed to reproduce. Well, what kind of disabilities? Like, are they in a wheelchair, or is it, like, cognitive disability? I mean, we could go 1984 on them and, like, say that they can't reproduce at all, but 
I think the best we can do is discourage them from reproducing because that would be very difficult to regulate. Of course, it does depend on what the disability is, to be honest. The most important thing for children to learn is to accept discipline. Yeah, I strongly agree. There are no savage and civilized peoples. Uh, there are only different cultures. Agree, because what we perceive as um, savages, it's totally normal in their culture. We can judge them all we want, but you know, it's not like they're gonna listen to us. We think differently from them, okay? Them coming into our land and our people and continuing their practices among our quote-unquote civilized lives, that's a whole other issue, okay? Those who are able to work and refuse the opportunity should not expect society support. Strongly agree, we don't want lazy people. When you are troubled, it's better not to think about it, but to keep busy with more cheerful things. I think you should uh, deal with your problems head on or something, and you shouldn't let coping get out of hand to where your issues aren't resolved because you're too busy focusing on your coping mechanisms or something. First generation immigrants can never be fully integrated within their new country. That can probably be true sometimes, but it, it is also untrue sometimes, so disagree. What's good for the most successful corporations is always ultimately good for all of us. Disagree? No broadcasting institution, however independent its content, uh, should receive public funding. I don't know what that means. Disagree. The wider society. Our civil liberties are being excessively curbed in the name of counterterrorism. Uh, agree, I think. A significant advantage of a one-party state is that it avoids all the arguments that delay pro progress and a democratic political system. Yes, if we split the country into two, then one side will have uh, the OG political system and then the other side will have a new system and we will see which one is better. And then we have a civil war and the winner will uh, integrate their new political system or, or OG political system back into the country and then we'll all be one country again. Although the electronic age makes official surveillance easier, only uh, wrongdoers need to be worried. Strongly disagree. The death penalty should be an option for the most serious crimes. Strongly agree. In a civilized society, one must always have people above to be obeyed and people below to be commanded. That's a strange question. I'll say disagree, I don't know, mate. Abstract art, art that doesn't represent anything shouldn't be considered art at all. Strongly disagree. Like, as much as I hate looking at most abstract art, like, it's still a representation of something, and so, <laughs> no matter what we think, there's still something behind it, you, you feel me? In criminal justice, punishment should be more important than rehabilitation. Agree, probably. Like, people need to face consequences and stuff, and so, yeah, they need to be rehabilitated and, you know, fixed to where they probably won't commit that crime ever again. But at the end of the day, they still should reap consequences. It is a waste of time to try and rehabilitate some criminals. Agree. Yeah, like, there's some speedophiles that will be, like, castrated or whatever, and to where they will never touch a little boy ever again. Like, there's just some things you can't fix out of people. The things that you can fix, they're probably very expensive, and so it's just not even that worth it. The business person and the manufacturer are more important than the writer and the artist. Well, they wouldn't be, um, there doing the job if it wasn't for the writer and the artist creating the concept, if I'm understanding the question properly, so disagree. Mothers may have careers, but their first call of Dewey is to be homemakers. I mean, men and women have their roles. Women are really good at being housewives, statistically, rather than men. And men are really good at manual labor and stuff, statistically. At the end of the day, the ideal society is for everyone to be doing the things that they're best at, whether that's at work or at home and stuff. This could be true, like, a lot of the time. At the end of the day, we can't force every single woo-man to be bound to their gender roles and stuff. If your wife is the best at doing laundry and the dishes, then power to her. I guess that's what she's gonna do for the rest of her life. But that isn't always gonna be the case. And so, as misogynistic as we uh, want to be, it's not always going to be the reality. I mean, is it misogynistic to say that your wife is best in the kitchen? If it's true, then it probably shouldn't be misogynistic. Well, back to the question, mothers may have careers, but their first call of duty is to be housemakers. I think people should stick to what they're good at, and so, <laughs> sure. It's probably best for them to know how to take care of the house on default, but if that's not what they end up being good at at the end of the day, then they shouldn't be forced to it. They, it, they, they should have a man 
that should do the house stuff instead, and then the woman is the worker. Almost all politicians promise economic growth, but we should heed the warnings of climate science that growth is de 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 detrimental to our efforts to curb global warming. Strongly disagree and I will not elaborate. Making peace with the establishment is an important aspect of maturity. Like being on good, good terms with the patriarchy? Sure, I don't know. I don't, I'm not entirely sure what it's asking. Next page. Propositions on religion. I see. Astrology accurately explains many things. Strongly disagree. You can't be moral without being religious. Disagree. As much as I think religion is very important, I don't think it's for everyone. I feel like you can have morals that are pretty grounded without religion. But generally, I think there's a lot of people that miss out on having good morals because they're not religious. But at the end of the day, you can only go so far. In conclusion, religion is not for everyone, so disagree. Charity is better than social security as a means of helping the genuinely disadvantaged. I don't think everyone should be inclined to charity. Like, I'll donate sometimes, but not every single day. Or like even in the new, uh, the Old Testament, we're told to give tithing and stuff and pay 10% of our weekly or monthly earnings to, and you know, we give it to the church so then we get blessings from Allah. I don't know, I'm gonna go with disagree because I think you should worry about yourself before you help others. So yeah, some people probably give too much charity because they're just left with like, almost nothing for themselves. But if you're alright with being poor while you're giving away a bunch of your earnings to other people that might need it more than you, then that's fine. But at the same time, it's not good to get too caught up in charity, because what if you need some of that money? What if something really, really bad happens and you got like a hundred thousand dollars in debt for hospital bills and stuff, you know? It does come down to what kind of person you are. Like me, personally, I don't want to prioritize charity. I want to prioritize my own financial stability. Some people are naturally unlucky. Agree. It is important that my child's school instills religious values. It's school. We're already going to go to church, so they don't need no religious values in school. I don't care about that. That's my job. I'll look at Schmecksch. Because here on the Professor Teague's channel, we love Schmecksch. And every single person that subscribes to Professor Teague's will get Schmecksch. Schmecksch outside of marriage is usually immoral. Strongly agree. A same Schmecksch couple in a stable, loving relationship should not be excluded from the possibility of child adoption. Uh, strongly agree. As much as it's not a traditional and ideal kind of a scenario, if it's a stable relationship, then the child should not really see that, ma that, much, that many much problems, okay? It should be fine, in theory. We need less orphans, and so gi people are the prime target. Porn. Depicting consenting adults should be legal for the adult population. Should we ban prawn? I don't know. It drives a lot of businesses, but as much money as it makes, it doesn't mean that it's good. What if we go full Saudi Arabia and we just, like, make it illegal? I think that'd be kind of funny. So, disagree. Strongly. I don't know. What goes on in a private bedroom between consenting adults is no business of the state. Like fetishes or something? Man, that could, that, could, that, that could be referring to a lot of things, actually. I don't know, I'll say agree, whatever. No one can feel naturally homosexual. Like, every single gi person, they just like, uh, they convince themselves to think that way rather than actually being born that way. You see, the thing is, a lot of people force themselves to be gi, and, that, and so they're added into the full population of gi people. Like, isn't, um, a third or, a, like, a tenth of Gen Z, aren't they, all, like, all identifying as, a uh, LGBT and stuff? When in reality, there's only supposed to be, like, 2% of the world's population that are, like, they like men and stuff. And so, Gen Z, we're lying to ourselves. Instead of strongly disagree, we're just gonna go disagree, because a lot of people lie, and they're like, oh, I had a bad relationship, maybe I just don't like women. These days, openness about Schmecksch has gone too far, strongly agree. I'm talking about Schmecksch right now. Alright, here it is, here's my compass. I am a leftist, apparently. I think I did this quiz a bit too safe. Okay, I always thought that I was like, um, more far-right authoritarian, like somewhere in here. But now that I've taken the quiz, uh, apparently I'm over here. Maybe the quiz is just more outdated than it should be. Because if you're familiar with my channel and my videos, we talk about a lot of things 
in the most far-right fashion possible. But apparently, at the end of the day, I think like a left-leaning centrist. I might not be as much of a Nazi as you all think I am, and I am also just as surprised as you. But yeah, like I said, maybe this quiz is a little bit outdated, and so if they had more relevant questions about the economy, about religion, or about social stuff, then it would know that I am a right-wing extremist. Or maybe that's a bit of an exaggeration, but I don't know, mate. If you would like to take this quiz for yourself, it will be linked in the description or something. And if you would like to share your results, you can tell me in the comments, or you can join the Discord server and post it in the chat hub or something. Sub to the second channel, follow the Rumble, Instagram, Twitter, X, TikTok, and join the Discord server. I guess that's about it then. Follow the social media. Bye-bye.